Hello, everyone. Welcome to Downtown Tailoring. I'm so excited for today's video. One of my subscribers that is from a town not too far from me came today and he wanted me to work on his jeans. He, in fact, have done a lot of jobs by himself. He did those sachikos patches and another patches from watching my YouTube videos. But this time he needed a bigger job. So he said that mm, maybe it would be better to come here. We are going to let out the waste in those jeans. But I divided the pants in three parts. At the top part, we are going to let out one inch and three quarters. At the center, like at the high thigh, we are going to let out just one inch. And then the rest of the leg, he loves them. So the rest of the legs will be zero by adding a strip that will go all the way from the top to the bottom. So as you can see, we are going to need a little bit of math in here, but we are in here for that. When he first came to the store, he looked at me like a, he knew me, but I, I, I really didn't remember him. So I was a, kind of a little bit confused. And then he told me that he is my subscriber. And I was, oh, really? I felt so, like, so emotional because, you know, I like that. I'm opening everything, you know, the pants, because I'm going to work at those areas. I'm going to insert the label inside the pocket so I won't lose it because mm, sometimes I lose those things. And I'm going to pin as well the bell loops. That way I'm sure that I won't lose anything. I have to open the waistband and all the side seams in order to work with this band. So this kind of job is a little bit big. I'm marking where the waistband is and then I'm going to cut leaving a little bit of seam allowance so the seam will be exactly like a matching, you know. I was very proud of my subscriber because he did all his patches so well. He did his hem, everything. And, you know, everything was very, very good. He pretty much followed all the instructions so well. The only thing, though, is that the patches didn't go to the seam. And that's very important. But later on, we are going to fix a little bit his patches, too. That made me think that next time that I explain a patch, I'm going to do it with a little bit more detail, saying that the patches has to be to the seam and why, and align the grain of the material to that. So that was a learning curve for me as well, and I might do a better video <laughs> in the future explaining the patches. But I was really, really impressed with the result. I'm gonna keep the thread just in case because sometimes the blue thread is very hard to match. Now I have my pants all open and he brought as well another pair of jeans that he used to do the patches and I'm gonna take the fabric from this jean to put the two stripes alongside the sides. So now we have to do a little bit of math in here. So I mark what will be the seam allowance, the shortest as I can, one quarter inch. But I need to let out one inch and three quarter, right? So I'm going to divide one inch and three quarter by two. And this is seven eight of the inches each side. So I need the half of the inch that I said before plus seven eight and I'm going to just measure it like the kit. And that will be one inch and three eight. Then for the waistband, I'm going to cut a piece of one inch and three eight. Plus, of course, the seam allowance, which will be three quarter. Approximately, you, you choose your seam allowance. Three quarter inch to each side will be one inch and a half. And then plus the one inch and three eight. We are talking about two inches and seven eight, almost three inches. So I'm gonna open my jeans, my my spur jeans, and I'm gonna take more or less about six inches of the waistband that I'm gonna reserve to put it at the end of my job. 
I have to admit that I have in my store my YouTube plaque with the 100,000 subscribers. So in general, my customer know that I have a YouTube channel. Sometimes they say, oh, really? Now I'm going to take the material for the whole stripe that I'm going to put. And remember, I will need approximately three inches or so. And, uh, you know, if you want, you can just cut it out. You don't have to work too hard. But in my case, I do prefer to open the side seam because, and this is an Easter egg for my customer to open the seam because always the seam in jeans has some pre-washed thing and they will look more natural when I add it to the jeans than if I just cut it out and sew it. Now I'm calculating what I have to do. And remember, we need seven eight of the inches. This is almost one inch at the sides. And I will need as well the seam allowance, but I need as well the seam allowance of the waistband at the top. So it will be a little bit more than I need, you see? So I'm gonna go and mark the same amount all the way down and this way i'm gonna make sure that my stripe will be all straight on my customer jeans my next step is where it gets a little tricky we need to let out different measurements along the pants but with the same stripe i have to calculate how much i need to take in in the original piece of the pants so this seems a little complicated, but it's not. You just have to use your ruler. So for example, if I have one inch and a half, but I need just to take one inch, I will just reduce the half an inch that I have extra. And I'm gonna remove that much from the pants and that's it. See, so I'm gonna mark now in my original pants, I'm gonna mark how much I need to take in in order to have what my customer wants, which is seven eight at the top, half an inch in the center, and zero at the bottom part in each side. So the bottom part will be the trickiest part because I do need to take in a lot right because the whole stripe that i'm gonna put in my pants i need to take it and probably mm, i will see if this is really doable because i don't want neither the pants to be crooked like the stripe to look going out too much so although i really wanted to keep the original seam at the bottom part of the front, I think I will have to balance a little bit that stripe and I'm gonna take a little bit at the front of the bottom part and a little bit at the back just to make sure that I'm gonna do a more balanced job. You see, always you have to pick and choose what will be the best option. But anyways, the rest of the pan will have the original seam so it will look pretty good i say i'm gonna pin both legs together because i want to mark everything you know would have been better if i iron those seam allowance before but i already marked it if i iron now the mark will <laughs> be erased so i'm gonna just try to my best and I'm gonna make my marks in both sides because when you work like that, it's good you have the mark outside and inside so you can join the pieces in an easier way. We started with this channel almost five years ago and for me it has been amazing how we already are more than 150,000 of us in a community, you know, talking together, watching the videos, sharing tips, 
is so amazing and I feel so proud. Thank you very much for watching my videos, for comment, for liking, for being part of this community. All the comments you make are so kind. You are so nice. And you know, always when I'm in the social media, I see that people are mean very often, but not in here, no, not in here. Thank you so much because this is what really makes me eager to keep going. I feel like being positive in this world is so rare. So I would like to contribute to that. And I want to throw some positive energy right back to you as you do with me. Before I insert the stripes and close the pants, I'm going to take the opportunity that my pants are open so it's easier to work and I'm going to fix the patches in the crotch. I'm telling you, this subscriber did very good. All these, all his scenes were very straight and nice following the grain so you cannot really see very much on top what he did with his patches. So thumbs up for that. To finish those pants is pretty straightforward. I'm gonna sew my stripes. And as I said before, I mark the top part and the bottom part. And then when I'm putting together, I'm gonna make sure to align the marks I did and then just sew it together. And that's it, these are my stripes that I sew in both legs. And now it's a matter of closing the pants. So, you know, don't get confused. You don't want to have the pants like crooked, sewing the wrong things together. You just put the pants inside out and you are going to pin the pants together to sew it. Make sure to align the hem so when you finish, the hem goes in a straight line. This is very important. And then when everything is done, you just need to top stitch in the same way that the jeans were top stitched before so it looks like a natural and normal pair of jeans now i'm gonna go to my ironing board and i'm gonna iron those pants so everything is flat and nice now is the time to put back the waistband and of course you know what happened when i don't pin the pieces to my pants right I lost it, but thank goodness that I have a little bit more of the waistband and I can cut another piece. This time I decided to do a smaller seam allowance to not make those seams too bulky. I'm sure that it will be okay very well for my customer, so I'm not really too scared in leaving a, a little bit smaller seam allowance. So again, I'm marking my lines on the top and, and the linings because the seam allowance are different, so I can put line with line and it will be like a, a nicer job. These waistbands are a little bit different in the size. The width of the waistband are a little bit different. So I'm a, I will kind of juggle a little bit with that to make it look more natural and nice. And you see, I made a mistake here. I didn't do it well. And I'm going to move it a little bit because I want the lines of the stripe and the lines of the waistband to match. So it will look kind of better, right? Nicer job. Remember all those tricks that I have given to you before. The trick of the hammer, that's really important to flatten up the thick things. And if you still feel like the material is too thick, then use your buttons to lift the foot and that will allow you to sew in a more comfortable way. Before I close my waistband, I'm going to iron. I always like to iron it before closing because I feel like the job look better when it's finished this way. I've been in my store for more than 10 years now. So I have customers that have been with me for more than 10 years and they as well sometimes watch my videos and they really hype me up and they make me feel very good. 
usually the belt loop goes around one inch from the side seam so I'm gonna measure that I'm gonna try to put it there I will say that I haven't been stopped by anybody on the street yet <laughs> If that happened, it would be me asking for the picture because I would be so excited. <laughs> so I'm sewing my bell loops. I'm almost done with my job. Remember, go very slow if you need it. And now is the time to put back the label. But you know, the original label of this one is a little broken. So I'm gonna use the label of the other pan that is very new and I'm gonna put it instead. So it will feel more, you know, the pants will feel more renewed and nicer and finished. And I have to be careful here because I want to go exactly in the original point if I can. And for the hem, I'm gonna sew back the piece of the hem, but I noticed that he probably did the hem using like a regular thread instead of the jean thread. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go past over the whole hem so it will look more like a, a jeans hem. It will look a little bit nicer than it was before. This video for me has been fantastic i hope that this subscriber sees it <laughs> and here you go now it's all done i add the material it goes very well all together with the sashiko stitches and patches and the straight stripes the hem looks uh, all natural. The stripes, as I said before, are straight all the way. And it looks like uh, the original seam, as you can see. This is like a little plus that I wanted to give to my customer. The loops are in a really nice position that goes to the transition. It has a new label. And here you go, my subscriber. Now the jeans fit him perfectly well. He says that he feels so comfortable with it. It's all really nice. And guys, I hope that you like this video. If you find this video useful, please give us a like. And don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. Bye.